first, find a relatively flat area away from tree cover and place the table down as shown with the bottom side facing up. Take the shorter set of legs and place them into the slots on each corner near the gutter. Take the other two legs and place them into the slots on each corner at the other end. Use a self-tapping screw for each leg to anchor it in place. There are six leg braces that will fold out, two on each side and two in the back. Attach each one to a leg with a self-tapping screw. Turn the table upright and position it to ensure that water will flow towards the gutter. Next, remove the plug from the bottom of the water tank, then take the reducer fitting and wrap the threads in Teflon tape. Screw the reducer fitting into the bottom of the tank using a tool to tighten. Take the 3 quarter inch hose bib and wrap its threads in Teflon tape as well. Then screw the hose bib into the opening of the reducer fitting. Apply more Teflon tape to the threads of the 1.5 inch bulkhead fitting and screw that into the top of the water tank. Position the tank underneath the table making sure that the top fitting is angled towards the downspout of the gutter. Loosen the top hose clamp on the flex coupler and attach it to the downspout. Then tighten the smooth end of the elbow connector into the flex coupler. Apply PVC glue to both connectors, then insert the PVC pipe making sure both ends are pushed in completely. You can apply black spray paint to give it a nicer, cleaner look. Take the pipe strainer and place it into the opening of the gutter. No adhesive is required. Next, take the short hose and attach it to the hose bib at the bottom of the tank. Take out the water pan and apply Teflon tape to the connection on its side. Then screw on the plastic hose connector that came inside the box. Now you can screw the connector and the pan onto the hose. Pour some water onto the roof to make sure that it is going towards the gutter and down the spout. Make sure the hose bib valve is turned on, unscrew the top of the tank and begin to add water. The system will hold up to about 300 gallons. Use a screwdriver to access the float in the center of the pan. Adjust the float accordingly so that when it rises about halfway, it will cut off the flow of water, preventing the pan from overflowing. Screw back in the float protector and gather some nearby rocks to place in and around the pan. These will act as stepping stones for any small wildlife that may get inside. Use the curb stakes to place around the pan to prevent any larger wildlife from accidentally overturning or moving it. Then take the straight stakes and hammer one into each of the four legs of the table for extra stability. Lastly, sit back and enjoy whatever wildlife may come along to get a drink.